Got some Vegan Rob's Dragon Puffs here for camping. Let's take a look here. We got the cooler. We did bring some of these uh, Rubicon cupcakes. We got some Light Life hot dogs. I got these meatless chorizo sausages here. Check this out. We got the Best Foods Vegan Dressing and Spread. All kinds of stuff going on in here. We're going to cook later. Of course, we got more in here. If you want to see how vegans camp. Some chips. We got some Boom Chicka Pop. More vegan Rob's. We got some uh, McDougal's. Yeah, and then as far as where we sleep, bam, right there, we got the 6.2 foot bed, so we can actually lay very, very comfortably on the inside of our, I don't know if you can tell, but our insulated shell here on our truck. Let me show you the big picture here. Inga's over here on the swing. <laughs> there we have it. Got our chairs campfire over there <clears throat> it's a good spot we found here we're up in uh, cold creek designated spot number four which is a fee free camp spot so basically just primitive camping you can bring a trailer if you have one but got the water down there let me zoom in got the creek pretty close to camp which is nice and actually, if we go over here, you have a giant wide open area over there where potentially more people can camp. So we're talking about maybe hosting some events, all vegan, all plant-based. This would be a good spot to host events for large groups that can accommodate that. I'm trying to aim this thing here going on guys it's morning and uh yeah pretty good night didn't rain on us till late in the late in the evening like 2 30 in the morning or something it started raining so really we actually stayed dry the whole time and in the truck we were nice and warm so that was perfect uh fire kept going all night until it probably started raining uh, i had to get it restarted this morning which wasn't too bad it was a little damp took a little work uh yeah last night though we did hear some interesting noises I did have the GoPro going, shooting a time lapse. I haven't checked the footage yet. It's possible that, that I got whatever it was on camera. Um, but basically we were just sitting by the campfire, having a good night, having a drink, and heavy panting or heavy breathing just right by us. Both of us heard it, I mean, clear as day. I grabbed the gun, <laughs> to be honest, and then the, the flashlight, and we went out and we looked around. We didn't see anything. There's nobody else by us. The next campsite is about half a mile down that way. There's another camp spot, maybe half a mile that way as well, but nobody's at that one. We would have seen them go by. So there's no actual domestic dogs in the area or anything like that. It's just us out here. Um, what it was, probably just a coyote or something like that. I'm not sure, but who knows? Who knows? We'll check the footage. All right, guys, more coming soon. All right, guys, we're back from camping, and yeah, it's pizza night for dinner, so... This is Inga's, this one's mine. I'll show you some more on that later. We were gonna look over the footage, but there's no need. Uh, we did find out what was coming to our camp. It was a black bear. Um, and here's basically what happened. So shortly after I shot that last clip, we packed up and we left. And I packed up the cameras, unfortunately, too, so I didn't actually get anything on camera, not even the GoPro, which I should have had going in the truck, but I, I didn't. Anyway. So as we're driving away from our camp, not too far, um, going towards the other camp spot, a black bear runs across the road right in front of our truck and coming from the direction of the other spot towards our spot, which makes sense with the, you know, the heavy breathing and the panting and all the, it's what sounded like galloping through the bushes in the woods last night. Makes sense that something that big was out there instead of, because originally we were just thinking it was a coyote or maybe a dog wandered from one of the camp spots down the road or something like that but it was definitely nothing like that that was most definitely a black bear um so pretty cool pretty cool to have a black bear encounter actually 
I've been camping a lot in my life. I've never actually seen one in person, believe it or not. Definitely not in Oregon. I feel like I've been in spots in Idaho where I've had opportunities to see them, but just never really saw them. So for me, it's really cool to actually finally get to see one. I know having a black bear encounter might be scary to some people, but but whatever. I, I thought it was actually pretty cool. I'm happy that it happened. I would go back camping there. In fact, we're probably going to go back camping there um, because who knows, I might be able to get some footage. And, you know, if you are going to go camping out in bear country, you just got to be careful. You got to be aware that they're there. You got to know what to do if they do come. I mean, oddly enough, at the time when we heard all the noises in the camp, and, and it was literally probably 10 feet within our camp here where we were sitting basically at that time even though I was thinking it was just a dog or something like that I yelled out as loud as I could hey bear and that's just a, a kind of a reaction from seeing that show where they were always you know look on the watch out for bears and stuff I think they were in Alaska or whatever alone that, that was the name of the show um, but anyway so I, I gave a, a great big hey bear and whatever it was at the time got scared away at that point so it worked. Now, you'd probably want to have like bear spray. I do have some other stuff. We had the gun, which I'm not going to shoot an animal or anything like that, but I can scare it away. Um, so we do have other means of protecting ourselves, but we are going to buy some bear spray to keep in the truck, I think from now on. It's kind of surprised we didn't have it already, but we're definitely getting it now. That's going to do it for this video though, guys. We're going to close it out. It was a great camping trip all together. Uh, I'll post some pictures on chrisaninga.com. Also working on a new website. If you go to camp.chrisaninga.com, it's kind of a vegan camping community website that I'm starting to build. Uh, it's not quite there yet, but I'm working on it. So if you want to drop by, look at it, comment on it, give me some ideas or anything like that, feel free. Thank you for watching, guys. Till next time, take care.